Every company is a technology company. The common mistake that I see is companies look at tools to solve their problems. So they, they get a tool, they plug it into the company, and then they have to force everybody to start to use it. They force their customer support department, their marketing department, to start to use it in a certain way. And then one month, two months, three, three, three months down the line, oh, that tool doesn't work, or uh, ticketing is not for us, and, and or we're not interested in this, we're not interested in that. The, uh, the way to do it is to look at the business itself, the business workflow process itself, and I'll discuss what's in the business itself. So we we'll basically look at the departments in your company. How do they service the customer today from the customer support and others? And from that, you map the whole uh, process for that. So let's look first for the use cases. When does a customer come to you? They ask you about a billing question, about a uh, uh, how do I do this, how do I do that? So they always come with a certain use case. Any company has typically six to 10 common use cases. So independently of the tool, draw first to what is that process. So if somebody asks us about uh, how much does this cost? Is this something the first line uh, agents can address or, uh, or not? Uh, do they have the latest version of it, of, the, of our pricing, if we have dynamic pricing or not? Um, if they have a billing question, what, can the what is the first line authorized to do? And then what do they need to send up? And who do they need to send it up to? So that has nothing to do with the tool. This has to do with your internal business process of what does it look like and who do we go through for what? Once you draw this and then you get Zendesk, you say, okay, Zendesk the tool. This is my business process. I'd like to customize you for my business process. Now, a rollout, a successful rollout of Zendesk involves many moving parts. So the business process itself is a key component. It's a key component of what you need to do. And then you'd look at the different aspects of it. Let's talk about channels. So there are, uh, Zendesk has support for a wide variety of channels. And our customers will complain. They have, uh, you know, you know take, it, take it about yourself. When, you, when things are going right in a restaurant or a hotel, we don't say anything. When things are going bad, everybody's, everybody's gonna hear about it. Uh, people, people in the lobby, our friends, our mom, you know, every, we're going to complain to everybody, okay? So, and it's the typical customer behavior. And, and when, when our customers complain, they have everything. Email, chat, calling, their friends, and all of that. So we're able to capture, capture all of that. And here we can see these are electronic channels, but I'm also talking about uh, the call center part. There are ways to introduce uh, uh, the ticketing to your call center. So. Uh, we've set it up in a way where when, when people call the call center, they'd, they'd log a ticket and channel that, that, that way through. Uh, looking at the agent groups and profiles, you have different ways for bringing in agents. Because, for example, we need to involve finance, all right? Finance know how to work with Excel. They will not use Zendesk the way our call center agent would use or our customer support would use. So there are ways to add them to Zendesk without changing how they do work. The reason you bring everybody in is you want when a complaint comes in that there are all of the departments are there to solve it versus okay, um, we get, you get the generic, I'll have to call you back or your call is important to us or you know, we'll get back to you in X amount of minutes and somebody in the organization has to go back and call and run and chase everybody to get the actual answer. So if you involve the different departments, uh, you'll be able to get a better resolution for, for, for the customer. And, and what's interesting about involving different departments as well, you can set an SLA. You can say the marketing department will need to get back to the customer within 12 hours. My billing and finance can do it in 48 hours. Our legal department can do that in, in, in eight, eight working days because of the nature of legal. So this way you'll be able to um, hold everybody accountable to what they would need to do. Uh, what the macros do is um, in any support agent, no matter how much you train them, um, everybody has their own way of addressing things. So macros are a way to standardize that, that says, okay, you, you asked us about a question about pricing, there's a, there's a button that an agent clicks and it automatically pre-fills the response, it automatically assigns the right department, and um, every company has its own quirks, its own details. We need a visit number, we need an identification number here. Billing need the invoice number to be included. So every company have their own different way of, of running things. So what I'd recommend is within the ticket, so the Zendesk has a default ticket set, but you can add your own custom fields that are only for your organization. And workshops internally, workshops for your agents. They need ongoing repetitive usage of the business process and the tool. 
So even, even if you have set up uh, the uh, Zendesk fully within the organization, going back to the business processing, in this case, I just have to remind you, this is how we do things and so on. And that ongoing refresher every quarter uh, or, and for new hires is definitely, definitely of, uh, very important for the, for the rollout.